Hey guys, this is me from Face World, and in this video, I'm going to compare two of the most popular video repurposing tools on the market today. Is it going to be Munch or Opus Clip? I get this question all the time, and frankly, we use both. I'm going to compare Opus Clip and Munch side by side all the way from the very beginning, how you go about uploading a video, whether it's a YouTube link or Zoom link or something that you upload from your computer and the results you get. In this example, I wanna show you something a little bit unusual. In the past videos I have done, I tend to share and you know repurpose longer videos as most people would, 45 minutes to an hour, whether it's a video recording or a live stream video. Uh, in this case, I wanna share a much shorter video, which is my YouTube video that is 15 minute long. Because now these two platforms have, you know, fewer assets to work with, it's really going to challenge them so you can see the final results. More importantly, you need to experiment and experience these tools on your own. Luckily, both of them have free plans with some feature and duration limitations, but it's important for you to really test it out with your content. And I recommend more than one. Try out some of the shorter videos and some of the longer videos. So I have Opus Clips on the left hand side and Munch on the right side. This way you can see them side by side and I hope that provides some additional level of clarity. Opus Clip on the left, as you can see, I'm currently on a free plan um, and so Explored and things I'm using will have watermark. And with Bunch, I'm currently on a pro plan. So um, in terms of the difference, primarily is on some of the features and also you know how much uh, or how many in terms of durations of the videos that you can process. With that said, I do recommend that, you know, both, uh, basically both software comes with um, free plans and I highly recommend you experiment with both of them. So let's dive right in here to uh, process a video. You can drop in, as you can see, a YouTube link, a Zoom link, a Google Drive link, quite convenient. And here for me to basically get started with Munch, the process is a little different, but essentially the assets you can upload to is very similar. So let me walk you through. When you start with Munch, it's going to ask you the platforms you want to focus first. Now, this part alone works really well with me and my process, my workflow. So for example, the two platforms that we focus on primarily are YouTube and LinkedIn. You can certainly select the ones that are more relevant to you and your business. And here you also can simply tell Munch that, hey, don't uh, basically create clips. Instead, just auto crop my videos 9 to 16, which is the portrait uh, video ratio. From here, you click on next. Now you're meeting with a similar uh, sort of interface. Uh, make sure that you insert a link that is a public video. So here you can drop in YouTube link or you can just drag and drop your file from your computer as long as that, that is under four gigabytes in size. That's it. Once this gets started, sometimes you'll notice that Opus will say that it will take them 15 to 20 minutes to process the video you uploaded. Again, a lot of that has, you know, is heavily reliant on how big the file is, especially when it comes to videos. The size of the video is one thing, but also the duration. So in my example, I'm about to show you, it's a about 13, 14 minute YouTube video. Now, chances are like whenever I'm thinking about video repurposing, I tend to use 45 minute to one hour long interviews. But the reason why I want to choose this example is because number one, I haven't really shared as much when it comes to shorter YouTube videos. And many of you guys have requested that that is necessary. For example, creating YouTube shorts and clips from your long form videos. And also when you have a shorter piece of content that really challenges these platforms, because when you have longer content, of course, there's more materials to work with. But when you have a 13 minute video, you wonder what you can get. So with that said, let's get started. I'm going to go to my YouTube channel right now. There's a video uh, on my YouTube channel. It's rather short. It's 13 minute long. Uh, so it's shorter compared to my, I would say, live stream or podcast interviews. So what I'm going to do is grab this link and then go right into Opus. So you can see right here, it's thinking about it and you have these options. So processing time frame, um, and then reminding you that it should not be unauthorized. And there you go. So it's going to process my video. And meanwhile, uh, here, starting with Munch, I'm going to say, I want more YouTube shorts, but check it out. I can actually choose more. I'm going to click on next. Same thing. I'm going to drop in my YouTube link. And now within Munch, instead of waiting, I can already make decisions prior. These are the subtitle templates. 
that you can choose from and you can change these at any time. So I'm just going to scroll through for you to see what they are. Perhaps this is like one of my favorite step of Munch is that I actually like these templates and they actually work. I don't find these subtitles or caption to be distracting, you know, covering my face, my guest faces. Instead, it feels professional. A lot of my content is business related. So this is quite nice. And you can also save this decision for all your future projects. So next, now I can name my project. I would say this is uh, be connected for musicians and I can describe my video source and this will be a, an explainer video. I do like this because you are now articulating and explaining to Munch the types of content that you're dealing with. And you can say, I trust Munch. I want Munch to make these decisions for me. Or you can let them know that, for example, for your brand, it seems like th those really short 15 second to 30 second videos work best. Then you can actually just do that. Or maybe you are publishing to LinkedIn or Facebook where these platforms will allow longer clips and formats. There you go. You can actually select, you know, more than 90 seconds if you choose to. So in this case, I like to do I trust Munch. If you're using Munch or video repurposing tools for the first time, I do recommend that you quote unquote, you want to trust these tools and just to see what you can get. And then from there, you can fine tune what works best. So now let's munch it. From here, you can see that the estimated time remaining is about 40 minutes. And you may be a little frustrated right now. The reason is Munch is really doing a lot of work in the back end, as I, we were talking about. But I have to admit that 40 minutes isn't something that you can walk away and just, you know, grab coffee and come back. Um, and uh, we'll see. Maybe it actually takes shorter than that. Now, while we wait, let's come back to Opus real quick. So if you remember correctly, I uploaded the clips into Opus first. It is not quite done yet. With that said, I, I am using the free version. Um, if at any time you need to add more credits, it is here. Um, so the price is quite reasonable. As you can see, estimated wait time here is about 10 minutes. Oh, I'll come back. And I have seen that typically, you know, the queue for Opus uh, tends to run a little bit shorter. Um, but you also see that you get drastically different assets. And in terms of how long it took Munch to process this 13 minute video, it was a little bit longer than Opus, but not by much. Even though, you know, Munch is showing you the countdown is 40 minutes and make you think about like all the things you need to do in 40 minutes. For this uh, scenario, I think it really took less than 20 minutes and I was counting down on the time. Um, so let's take a look at the results. First of all, the interface has uh, very, very different features. And so first on the left hand side, Opus Clips, I counted uh, out of this, okay, 15 minute video, it gave me 14 clips and it's actually all in portrait view. So you notice that for Opus, you get the title, the duration, and here you got little share link. Let's see what this is. You got export XML captions. You can download the video in HD and you can edit the clips. And so the edit feature is part of the, the pro feature. Um, and I've tried their editing features very, very similar to a lot of these video repurposing platforms. It's not that different, so I'm not going to spend too much time there. And here you have your transcript. So as you can see, that's what it is. And uh, here you get a variety of clip sizes and durations. So 20 seconds, 42 seconds kind of show you what they are. Um, in terms of quality, I think, uh, you know, in general, a lot of these AI video repurposing tools are struggling with one thing, which is understand the context of your videos which I believe it's the power that we have to basically give back to the creators, right? The more you know about your content, the more you practice doing this, the better off you're going to be. Now, let's take a look at the right hand side. Uh, this is the reason why I always end up going back to Munch. And I know that Opus is a very strong platform, but the reason why we just prefer Munch uh, over and over again is because of these additional insights that we get with the content we have. So right off the bat, you can see that there is a filtering system. You can filter based on duration, right? You can just drag and drop the slides here and indicate that the duration you would prefer. And as a result, all the video clips on the right hand side, as you can see, it was filtering based on what you have selected. So let's say if I indicate that it's 60 seconds maximum because I'm someone who likes to post on YouTube shorts and maybe, you know, Instagram reels only, and that's what I would prefer. And here you go. Now, what's popular here, and you got additional filter, 
So popular, it's currently in beta, and it's giving you all the clips where that um, you're smiling in case where I'm smiling. I'm, I know I'm doing that a lot uh, in most of my videos, and it's also giving you suitable platforms. And here you can actually filter based on what you have previously selected. So for me, if you remember with LinkedIn and YouTube Shorts, but here I can also just like pick one or both. And brands mentioned as well. I mentioned Munch because a Munch related video I'm processing here, but also Face World. It's okay. It spelled my name wrong. F E I S W R L D. That happens regularly, you know, with basically all of the AI systems. Google. Uh, but you know, I got to go back and say that I'm really glad I actually even recognized my brand, uh, you know, next to Munch and Google and YouTube. Okay. Now, people being mentioned here. In addition to the five, you can also expand all to see what they are. And, you know, I would say that over the years I've been using Munch, I see the list of keywords are definitely getting better. And the more content that you push through Munch, the better this list gets. It gets to know you as a content creator better in the content that you're creating. Topics, the way I look at it is, are definitely the broader themes. Um, if you are a blogger, I would say topics are the categories, whereas keywords are the tags. It's not just that, but when you look at the individual cards com in comparison to Opus Clips, for example, there is more information to it. So you got things such as, hey, this clip contains highly searched content. So it's an indicator that's specific to Munch's um, algorithm to let you know that they're more likely to rank. And these are the, the, key sorry, the, the keywords that are associated with this particular clip coherent score in terms of context, how easy it is to understand, even though it's just 26 seconds, and main topics, and time in the source. It tells you where that is coming from. To me, that is huge. Another feature before we go too far, pro subscribers have the ability to re-munch. What does that mean? You have the ability to reprocess your video, whatever you submit it, right? So whether it's 13 minutes or if it's an hour, so you'll get slightly different results. So you're giving Munch a second chance to try to do something different. Now, I think that is an option that could be really interesting to explore. And for me so far, I'm quite okay with, you know, what I get in the first round. Another thing at the top, you know, I do have a detailed video uh, to talk about these specific features and that do not exist in Opus and most of the other platforms. I really don't see this very much, which is this unique SEO tool. So I'm gonna go over that real quick with you guys keyword search volume. So it's giving you insights in terms of why Munch thinks some of these clips have a higher uh, possibility of ranking. So as you can see, keywords search volume based on what it learns in Google. It has this visual graph as well, top trending keywords, and then it will show you the six clips that it has selected. In addition, you have top trending keywords, top trending brands, as well as, uh, you know, trending what's trending down. So what you have talked about, but is currently trending down. You can also see these 13 clips associated with the downtrending keywords. Again, you as a creator, now you have the ability to find what you're looking for. There are also different views that are available uh, here. As you can see, you can hide it, you can show it. Now, currently it's sorted by Munch score, what Munch recommends to you as more likely to rank higher quality clips. But you can also sort them based on coherency uh, headline A to Z, um, headline are already written, like prepared by Munch AI. Also most trending, shortest first, chronological order. Last but not least, from within the clip, let me click on that so you can see it. Okay, let's watch this clip together, shall we? Okay, another tip I want to mention as you are starting and then growing an agency is about assembling a specialized team. Now, based on the clients you're targeting, you might need this, you know, you might need different talents or specialties as part of your team. But the good news is that you can start the agency just on your own by yourself. Or are you trying to serve by building this agency that help people produce micro content? So what comes to mind immediately these days are podcasters, YouTubers, live streamers, webinar hosts, you know, company content creators, content directors. So these are the folks you might want to target. All right, now you have seen the clip. From here, if you want to share to social media, all you have to do is copy and paste after you download the clip. To do that, just click on export, download. What if you change your mind? Let's say, hey, I really prefer to share this clip as a landscape video, let's say on LinkedIn instead of portrait. All you have to do is click on this icon here and click on 16 original 
So this way that you have it ready immediately without having to leave the window and do anything different. Now, what if you like this clip, but you don't know, you're not sure what you're gonna do with it. You can just put a star and favor this clip and use it later. When it comes to publishing, I do have to say a couple of things about Opus clip. So as you can see, once you click on, I wanna subscribe, I kinda like what I'm seeing, you'll notice that their paid version does have auto publish, auto post to YouTube Shorts, TikTok, IG Reels, or download. So with this tool, you can schedule automatically. At the end of the day, it's about balancing what is right for yourself, your business. So to me, I am someone who has been using, you know, publishing tools for social media, such as Sendable, uh, Later.com. I have a separate article if you're interested in learning more that I am comfortable working with. So for me, of course, you know, down the line, and maybe Munch will also release a scheduling or direct publishing feature for now that I think as long as the clips are well organized, that the clips are high quality, that is most important to me. The less editing that is needed, the more comprehensive and coherent the clips are, the more chances that I'm going to choose the tool. So thank you so much for watching the video all the way through the end. At this point, you're thinking, mm, I seem to have a better idea of what might work for me, but I'm gonna try both and make that decision. Absolutely, the power is in your hand. I would love to know what you think in the comments below. And if you like this video, I highly recommend you check out these resources and videos right here. And also I've listed them in the description below. In addition to this video, we have also prepared uh, these detailed review blog posts with a number of video repurposing tools. Again, as I mentioned before, we like to review a lot of these tools before we make the final decision. I'm very lucky that Munch decided to sponsor us in this video for us to give you a fuller walkthrough of what you're signing up for. If you have any questions, we're all eyes and ears. We'd love to hear from our viewers. With so much gratitude, I'm gonna see you guys next time.